Okay, now this is part three of creating a card with, in card with Inkscape, or part two, whichever one way you want to look at it. And when we finished off, we were just getting uh, to this part of our uh, Christmas tree ornament. And you can see over here that I have the components of the one that I made. Um, and so now we're just making the parts. We've done the circle, the top part, the top part here. And so now we have to basically take this and we're going to duplicate this. And then we have to flip it. Okay. And we want to shorten it up because when it's reflected, it doesn't quite look like that. So we're going to send this back one. And then we're going to come up to fill and stroke. And we're going to change the opacity on this. So it's like that. And we'll blur it up one. Okay, and now you can see that there's a reflection in there. But you also need to change this slightly because when the reflection comes up, it bows out. Okay, so like that. So it should look like that. So far, so good. And then even if you want to shorten this up a little more, you could do that as well. Okay. And um, now, what you're going to want to do is we want to duplicate this twice. And the reason for that is that we want to make this like little this shape here. And to make that shape, you have to stack them like this. Okay. And then come up the path and go difference. Okay. Now I'm going to I'm going to flip this, but it doesn't really matter. If we wanted to, we could just leave this like it is. And um change the color to white and we'll get rid of the stroke okay and we'll move this over oops okay like that and if you wanted to we could come up the path and do like an inset and what inset does is just kind of shrinks it down I need to page this down twice so that it's behind actually we could probably go up one so that it's like that and then we want to come up and uh, fill in stroke and blur this and we can make it a little whiter like that so it sees it as an actual reflection and close this okay so we've done that part and now we need this little wedge part here and for that wedge part I used a triangle. Oh, you can see it made it a star, so you gotta click polygon. And we gotta reduce these corners down to three. Okay, and then what we wanna do, I need to zoom in on this, so. And the first thing we need to do is object to path. Okay. just going to move this over to here. And we'll do this. Make that a corner. This and make that a corner. zoom in a little more. Now what I did here, if you want these to be sharper, you just got to bring them in tighter. Okay. This should come down closer. Okay, let me zoom out, and I'm still not real happy with that, that's much better. Ok, 
Okay, so there's that, the shiny wedge. And then our star is simply, again, a star like this. But we don't want it to be a polygon, and we want it to be one, two, three, four, five, six sided. Six. And so when we come up and we just pull that out, and then we move it into place. And um, I'm going to blur this slightly. Okay, and uh, there we are. Uh, one last thing we could do with this is come over here and make a circle and stretch this out and bring it up to here. Okay. And then we're going to go on and change this fill. And uh, there we go. And we're going to have to edit this. Okay, and close this. Come down here. And there we go. Now that's that looks like it's almost too much, so I'm going to get rid of it. Otherwise, this looks good. And that's it. That's how you create an ornament in Inkscape.